Hey gardeners, welcome to my garden. I'm Jay, I garden in South Carolina zone eight. And today I wanna to take you around my backyard and side yard and show you my garden beds that have been created using the sheet mulching technique. Back in 2019, I started sharing my garden on Instagram and I wanted to create a lot of big garden beds, but there was no way I was gonna dig up all of that turf and create those garden beds. So I found the sheet mulching method and today I wanna to show you the before and afters of those projects. Come with me. So let's call this bed number one. This is my island bed. And I started this bed back in 2019. And I'll walk you around this area. But my backyard was full of grass and I was tired of cutting so much grass so I started creating as many garden beds as I could. And I can't even say that I can manage all of these garden beds anymore, but they kind of self-manage themselves. So this is my island bed. We'll call this garden bed number one. This garden bed is, we'll call this the, the sunroom garden bed. So this is a part shade garden. I have some hydrangeas here. I, I won't go through all the plants just because that'll take, this video will be so long if I go through all the plants, but eventually I'll come back and do that. So let's call this garden bed number two. And this is my sunroom garden bed. This is garden bed number three. This is the long border. This is the garden bed I show the most because it is my favorite. I hate to pick favorites, but it is what it is. This garden bed is always full of blooms. There's always something interesting to look at in this garden bed. I'm so tempted to talk about every single flower, but this, I just can't. I'm, I'm just gonna show the garden today. But this is the long border and I love this border so much because I put a lot of effort into this garden by starting with sheet mulching and expanding this bed often. I have lots of propagations in here that I'm really proud of. This hydrangea for one. And it's just a beautiful garden space. So this is garden bed number three, the long border. Garden bed number four is my kitchen garden. This year it is full of blooms. And remember it just rained for two days. So lots of the blooms have fallen over, but that is perfectly fine. I have gladiolus, bee balm, sunflowers, and then over here is where I grow my veggies. And years ago, I used to grow so many different vegetables, but then I found that I was putting most of them in the compost or giving them away because it was just too much food for me. So I've learned to just grow what I love um, Swiss chard, I love tomatoes, peppers, herbs. So now I grow what I know I'll eat. Oh, look at that onion. Look at that beauty. Oh, let's get in there. Oh yes, I will be having that for dinner very soon. But this is my kitchen garden, garden bed number four. Let's walk to the next garden bed, which is Juvie. I talk about Juvie a lot because Juvie is always in need of some rejuvenation. This is the bed that is neglected. I would say the most, but I have a bed to show you that's even more neglected than this one. 
So this is Juvie. I did a video on sheet mulching this area. And it is also a favorite garden bed of mine because of the amount of work that I put into this garden bed. This is garden bed number five, Juvie. So let's keep walking over here to the side garden. So we'll call this garden bed number six. Over here is where I have created a berm garden bed. And that's where these hydrangeas are planted. Also have this beautiful chocolate mimosa tree. But if you follow my story on Instagram, you'll know that I used to have two Bradford pear trees here. And my goal was after those trees were removed that I would have just a long, beautiful garden bed on the side of my house. Y'all, I can't keep this camera still. And it's starting to rain. So this is garden bed number six. I hope that's right. Yes, garden bed number six. Gardeners, thank you for watching this tour of my garden. Please come back and watch more tours and tips for gardening. If you have ways that you make gardening easier, please leave that down in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.